she's quite a wild character. She's a real force. She storms into people's lives. Um, but in herself, I think she's quite vulnerable. Like she's still a child. She's only kind of 16, 17. Um, but I don't know, she's hard to pinpoint. And I feel, re- I feel like I'm betraying her talking about her. Like her sp- I'm spilling her secrets. Um, but I mean, she's been, she's been through a lot of stuff that thankfully people her age, most people, children her age haven't been through. And, and her response to that is kind of feeling like she's older. So acting a lot older than her actual age. And you see that throughout the most of the film, but there are some little bits where you see her at her most vulnerable and you see when she's stripped down from all her hair and makeup, which she uses as kind of this defense. She acts a lot older, she thinks that she's a lot older, so she constantly references how much younger Connor is, like how he's a baby and everything. And yeah, that is her way of putting a barrier up so that no one can get kind of too close to her. And just kind of, she constantly tries to move at this high frequency so that she doesn't have to slow down and actually feel the things that she feels. The change in Connor's character from the beginning to end is so drastic. Um, and Rafina is this kind of pivotal point in his growing up where he, she kind of opens his eyes to think life beyond school. Um, and he is also so innocent and so willing to understand her and really know her and be patient with her that that really surprises her and she's not used to that. She's used to kind of pushing people away and keeping a certain distance between herself and someone else. And Connor is just so patient with that that it kind of knock, knocks her back and kind of, yeah, forces her to think. So, and it, I mean, it changes throughout the film as well. Um, and it is a love story, but it's more, I mean, it's children, so it's more about growing up and understanding everything. And He's in every single day filming. So it's, I mean, for someone's first movie, that is intense and he is handling it incredibly. John can will come in one morning and will have new sides in a completely new scene because he's decided that he wants to change something, which is really, it's a really cool way to work. It just keeps everything really fresh. And if something doesn't feel right in a scene, like if it feels like it's written down and you're reciting lines, then he'll change it and you'll see him like wandering around set, like muttering to himself, trying to work out a better way of doing it all, which is so, it's amazing to see. I feel ashamed of my music knowledge in comparison to all these people in the band who are actual amazing musicians. Like all the kids in the band who in between takes are actually playing their own songs and stuff. It's incredible to be around. It's such a good atmosphere. It's so rich and it's got so many different levels that I think could appeal to all sorts of ages. Like the younger um, viewers will see this. I mean, it's such an exciting thing to watch visually as well. They've got these amazing costumes and scenes like jumping off into the water and all of the stuff and this amazing soundtrack as well so it's so thrilling to watch but there's also all this undercurrent of really vulnerable people and damaged people and like especially with the brother brendan he, like you in all his scenes there's just so much more going on that i think obviously the uh, the adults in in the audience will pick up on more than the children but I think